he, he convinced Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it was basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was these pale blue dots. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spaceverse, where the mysteries of the cosmos unfold before your eyes. Our dedicated team of astronomers, astrophysicists, and space enthusiasts is here to take you on an exhilarating journey through the universe. From the enigmatic depths of black holes to the search for distant exoplanets and the thrilling adventures of space exploration, Spaceverse is your gateway to the awe-inspiring wonders of the cosmos. Join our community, hit that subscribe button, and let's explore the universe together. NASA's Voyager spacecraft are truly incredible feats of engineering and science. They were only meant to last for five years, so the fact that they are still out there is astonishing. The most up-to-date pictures and data from these daring ships reveal enticing mysteries that surpass our previous comprehension of the cosmos. These puzzling discoveries may indicate new proof of alien participation, or they may point to a significant change taking place in the very fabric of our cosmos. In this investigation, we set out on a journey through the new data and stunning photographs delivered by the Voyager spacecraft, revealing astounding revelations as we go. Despite having vastly different purposes, the Voyager 1 and 2 seem quite similar. The Voyagers are polyhedral structures around 1.7 meters in length, with a high-gain antenna that is about 3.6 meters in diameter. These interstellar explorers are home to a research lab stocked with state-of-the-art imaging and spectroscopic equipment. Each Voyager has about three RTGs, or radioisotope thermoelectric generators, to keep it running as it continues its journey. The RTGs use the heat given off by decaying plutonium-238 to generate electricity. The heat is converted into electricity by a bimetallic thermoelectric device. During liftoff, the power source could produce 470 watts of 30-volt direct current. However, this has gradually decreased. Thousands of images of the cosmos have been taken by these tireless envoys since their launch, and they have sent them back to Earth for examination. However, NASA has been unable to publicly release the vast bulk of the material gathered by these spacecraft because of classification concerns. The bounty of knowledge bestowed by the Voyager mission has enriched our comprehension of the solar system's inner workings. It has unveiled the intricate choreography of planets as they revolve around the Sun exposed the beguiling rings that encircle these celestial bodies, elucidated the dimensions, contours, and inherent characteristics of radiation-drenched giants such as Jupiter, and not least, introduced us to the diverse pantheon of moons accompanying these planets. Voyager 1 embarked on its celestial odyssey from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41 on September 5, 1977, while Voyager 2 set forth a bit earlier on August 20, 1977. This auspicious timing aligned the planets in such a way as to facilitate the swift transition of these intrepid craft from one celestial body to the next. Intriguingly, Voyager 1 despite its later launch managed to outpace its twin, venturing ahead of the solar system to explore hitherto uncharted domains, including mesmerizing encounters with Jupiter and Saturn. During the course of its mission, Voyager 1 amassed a staggering trove of over 4,000 images of Jupiter in just a single year, enabling NASA scientists to craft a pioneering time-lapse chronicle of this colossal gas giant. It also bestowed upon us unprecedented, close-range vistas of Saturn and its quartet of captivating moons. However, Voyager 1 primary mission drew to a close shortly thereafter. Instead of proceeding to Neptune, NASA opted for an audacious interstellar voyage propelling the spacecraft into the vast expanse beyond our solar system, the cosmic interlude known as interstellar space. This celestial territory marks the space that extends beyond our sun's heliosphere, the protective envelope surrounding our solar system venturing into the uncharted reaches that span between the stars themselves. The astonishing revelations we're about to delve into in this video stem from Voyager 1 extraordinary mission in the stellar expanse. But before we embark on that cosmic journey, let's cast our gaze upon some of the mesmerizing revelations gifted to us by the Voyager 1 and to spacecraft. Behold, the wondrous discoveries from these interstellar travelers. Have you ever pondered the spectacle of volcanoes in the cosmos? Well, Voyager 1 has not merely glimpsed this celestial marvel once or twice, but in over a hundred mesmerizing instances. Picture this. Voyager 1 lens trained on Jupiter's moon, Io. What it revealed was nothing short of awe-inspiring. 
Io's surface captured in vivid detail was adorned with a tapestry of volcanoes. These volcanic titans owe their existence to the moon's relentless gravitational forces. This relentless dog of war within Io's iron-rich core and iron sulfide composition births scorching heat, transmuting rock into molten magma, a mesmerizing phenomenon known as tidal heating. As the magma simmers beneath the surface, it incrementally builds up pressure until it bursts forth in a fiery eruption painting the moon's visage with volcanic activity. The imagery gleaned from this celestial body is a juxtaposition of intrigue and trepidation. NASA postulates that Io is home to an astonishing 400-plus volcanoes with around 150 of them in a state of active effervescence. Yet, among these volcanic luminaries, one garners NASA's undivided attention. The enigmatic Loki volcano. This formidable volcano stands as one of the most potent active forces on Io. Intriguingly, it owes its name to the Norse god of mischief, Loki. During the 1970s, NASA had the extraordinary privilege of capturing one of Loki's cataclysmic outbursts, an eruption of such magnitude that it propelled rocks and molten magma hundreds of miles into the boundless cosmic void. However, it was not merely the sheer force of Loki's eruptions that endowed it with its mythological moniker. It was the capricious and elusive nature of this celestial pyrotechnic show. Much like the iconic Loki of Marvel lore renowned for his cunning and unpredictability, this lunar volcano exudes a similar mystique. In the initial stages, NASA researchers believed they had cracked Loki's code discerning a pattern that marked its eruptions every 540 days, equivalent to one and a half Earth years. Yet, in a twist worthy of its namesake, a recent study revised the schedule to a mere 475 days, leaving Loki's behavior cloaked in an aura of unpredictability. Nevertheless, through their meticulous calculations, NASA has sounded the alarm. Loki's fiery cauldron may soon unleash its most formidable eruption ever witnessed. Now that we've embarked on Voyager 1 Odyssey of Discovery, let's cast our cosmic gaze towards Voyager 2. This illustrious explorer extended an invitation to explore two distant denizens of our solar system, Uranus and Neptune. Thanks to the data harvested by Voyager 2, astronomers unearthed astonishing insights into Uranus, a world where a day spans a mere 17 hours, and a predominantly hydrogen and helium-laden atmosphere envelopes its enigmatic surface. Yet, it was Neptune that beckoned with a veil of intrigue. Prior to Voyager 2 mission, Neptune's ring system remained shrouded in speculation. While astronomers had confirmed the presence of rings encircling Uranus, Neptune's cosmic adornments remained a tantalizing mystery. Voyager 2, however, would change the narrative forever. This intrepid spacecraft became the sole witness to Neptune's celestial grandeur, unveiling the presence of two primary rings christened Adams and Verrier, an homage to the pioneering astronomers John Couch Adams and John Joseph Leverrier. These visionaries had meticulously calculated Neptune's precise celestial coordinates back in 1846. But Voyager 2 did not stop there. It unearthed yet another captivating enigma within Neptune's cosmic realm. The discovery of three additional rings, accompanied by the emergence of four ring arcs, left astronomers astounded. These ring arcs, clusters of celestial dust and rock, formed an enigmatic halo encircling the planet. Puzzlingly, the fundamental laws of physics dictated that these particles should disperse into the cosmic abyss rather than cluster together. Yet, against the odds, these enigmatic entities chose to defy convention. Astronomers while marveling at their audacity, remained perplexed about their formation and purpose. The prevailing hypothesis suggests that Neptune's outer ring's gravitational forces might coerce these particles to converge into ring-like formations, a phenomenon unique to Neptune's celestial theater. As we ponder these celestial wonders, it's clear that the cosmos is replete with enigmas yet to be unraveled, where imagination and scientific inquiry entwine, casting the celestial stage in ever more mesmerizing light. Following its expedition to Neptune, Voyager 2 embarked on a cosmic odyssey out of our solar system, although this occurred significantly later than Voyager 1 departure. To elucidate, Voyager 1 ventured into the vast realm of interstellar space in 2012, whereas Voyager 2 embarked on this epic journey in 2018. Voyager 2 stands as the trailblazer, the solitary spacecraft to explore Uranus, an endeavor that bore fruit in 1986 when it unveiled 10 moons and two enigmatic rings encircling the distant planet. Yet, one of Uranus' rings, 
The ill use of Zettering flung the scientific community into a frenzy, seemingly vanishing soon after its initial detection. For an entire decade, it appeared as though this ring had vanished into thin air. However, the cosmic stage took a dramatic twist in 2022 when NASA received a fresh image of Uranus from Voyager 2. This image not only presented the most comprehensive view of Uranus to date, but also resurrected the enigmatic Saturn from its celestial obscurity. Armed with this newfound data, NASA's researchers undertook the task of gauging the expanse separating Uranus from its captivating rings, a distance measuring approximately 37,000 kilometers. Yet, herein lies the cosmic conundrum. The Zettering was not the same celestial entity it once was when first glimpsed in 1986. Matthew Hedman, the sage of observations at NASA, candidly acknowledged the conspicuous transformation this enigmatic ring had undergone in the two intervening decades. Most notably, its signal now resonated with greater potency on NASA's observatory instruments. The perplexing question loomed. What brought about this inexplicable metamorphosis? Was it the handiwork of extraterrestrial forces at play? Or did it signify a celestial evolution? The FAMOS theory proffered by NASA speculated that seasonal alterations might have rendered the Zettering more conspicuous. However, the true cause of this cosmic anomaly eluded comprehension, veiled in an enigmatic shroud. When coupled with the recent findings from Voyager 2 twin counterpart Voyager 1, this revelation serves as a potent catalyst for contemplating the hidden mysteries lurking in the uncharted expanses of outer space. As the annals of time unfurl, it has been a remarkable 45 years since Voyager 1 embarked on its cosmic odyssey. Traditionally, scientists garnered profound insights from this venerable probe. However, a recent paradigm shift has witnessed Voyager 1 transmitting extraordinary data departing from its conventional repertoire. Voyager 1 having perpetually defied the constraints of its projected lifespan has long held its esteemed status within NASA's celestial pantheon. Witnessing its steadfast endurance, NASA initiated the Voyager 1 interstellar mission in 1990. Over the course of this remarkable voyage, Voyager 1 journeyed a staggering 6 billion kilometers away from our radiant sun, capturing a staggering catalog of over 67,000 celestial images, an abundance of visual treasures, in a strategic endeavor to conserve the spacecraft's dwindling power. NASA opted to silence the Voyager 1's cameras, marking a turning point in its mission. Nevertheless, the Voyager 1 invaluable contributions extended beyond mere imagery. An intricate tapestry of data wove its way from the spacecraft to NASA via alternative means. Signals NASA's communication with Voyager 1 transcended the visual realm, facilitated by the Formidable Deep Space Network, or DSN an assembly of substantial radio antennas. By 2012, as Voyager 1 continued its relentless exodus from the solar embrace, hurtling through the cosmic abyss at a staggering 61,197 km per hour, it achieved a momentous milestone, departing our solar system to enter the boundless expanse of interstellar space. In the wake of this transcendent passage, Voyager 1 embarked on a new era of communication with NASA a period characterized by an unsettling transformation in the signals it relayed. Nowadays, the transmissions emanating from Voyager 1 confound even the most esteemed scientists, assuming an eerie and unfathomable character. Adding to the cosmic enigma, current data implies a disconcerting uncertainty surrounding the Voyager 1 present position in the vast expanse of interstellar space. Had it known its precise whereabouts, this data would have seamlessly been captured by the vigilant deep space network. NASA's meticulous planning during the Voyager spacecraft's creation is underscored by Voyager 1 inclusion of a specialized alarm, primed to awaken if the probe ever veered off course in the cosmic void. However, to date, no such alarm has sounded despite the perplexing signals. Should one entertain the notion that the issue may stem from the antennas, NASA swiftly dispels this conjecture affirming that Voyager 1 antenna remains in impeccable health and alignment, facilitating seamless communication with NASA. The craft continues to obediently receive instructions and execute them amidst the cosmic solitude. Thus, the conundrum does not manifest in the transmission of data from NASA to Voyager, but rather in Voyager's transmission of space-borne data back to its earthly creators. Within the scientific echelons at NASA, conviction solidifies that the signals Voyager 1 emits offer a distorted reflection of the cosmos. Furthermore, 
Contemporary communication with the probe necessitates a lag of approximately two days for messages to traverse the cosmic abyss in either direction. This, in turn, begets a poignant question. What truly unfolds in the enigmatic realm occupied by Voyager 1, and what aberrations imbue its recent signals? Could Voyager 1 have encountered extraterrestrial intelligences? An emblematic feature integrated into all NASA spacecraft, including Voyager 1, comprises a unique gold-plated disk, a repository of singular knowledge about humanity, replete with audio and visual messages in an array of languages. This repository crafted with meticulous care serves as a font of information to be deciphered by any potential extraterrestrial entities that the spacecraft may encounter on its cosmic odyssey. An array of linguistic translations adorns this disk, ensuring a more robust potential for comprehension by enigmatic cosmic denizens. After all, the whims of interstellar languages remain shrouded in uncertainty. One cannot definitively assume that aliens converse in the tongues of Earth. As of now, Substantive evidence attesting to Voyager 1 rendezvous with extraterrestrial beings remains elusive. Yet, one must tread carefully upon the cosmic tapestry, mindful of the veiled mysteries that might elude even the keenest of human senses. NASA's discerning eye missed the concealed galaxies that lingered at the universe's outermost fringes until the James Webb Telescope unveiled their existence. This tantalizing possibility fuels conjecture that Voyager may first have indeed encountered enigmatic beings who, having perused the disk's contents. Now seek to initiate cosmic discourse. Some have even entertained the notion that these beings are now at the helm of Voyager 1 Celestial Voyage. Nonetheless, NASA remains steadfast in its dismissal of such extraterrestrial speculation, citing an array of safety protocols primed to activate if the probe ever encounters jeopardy, none of which have been invoked thus far. This, at the very least, assures NASA that Voyager 1 remains beyond the clutches of alien influence. Nevertheless, this enigma is compounded by the increasingly peculiar signals emitted by Voyager 1, a departure from the norm observed during the spacecraft's proximity to Earth. The most cogent explanation NASA has been able to offer thus far is that these anomalies are symptomatic of device malfunctions, an expected occurrence as any human-made contrivance approaches the twilight of its operational lifespan. Voyager 1, having spent over 45 years in the unforgiving expanse of space, may have only a fleeting few years left in its cosmic sojourn. Another variable to consider posited by NASA is the staggering distance that Voyager 1 has traversed. Currently the probe occupies a record-breaking realm, stationed a staggering 23 billion kilometers distant from its terrestrial creators, a journey unfathomable during the spacecraft's initial construction, an omission that looms large in NASA's calculations. Hence, it's reasonably concluded that Voyager 1 communication apparatus wasn't originally engineered to relay data across such astronomical distances. These, however, remain theories, mere shadows of the true predicament that veils this cosmic conundrum. Regrettably, there exists no recourse to summon the Voyager spacecraft back. Our sole course of action is to continue utilizing it until its batteries, those reliable RTGs, wane, a span estimated at three to five more years beyond which Voyager 1 will slip into celestial retirement. Furthermore, conducting diagnostics or repairs on the craft is an impossibility. Voyager 1 now resides in a remote realm, well beyond the reach of any terrestrial endeavor. Currently, no vessel possesses the swiftness required to intercept Voyager 1 in a timely manner, for the probe's 45-year sojourn to its current abode underscores the vastness of the cosmic void it traversed. Consequently, we stand at an impasse, awaiting a future revelation, ardently hoping that extraterrestrial entities haven't claimed dominion over our cherished Voyager 1. Yet, if indeed these enigmatic signals emanate from alien hands, one is compelled to ponder the nature of their message. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic odyssey, and don't hesitate to click on the adjacent video for another captivating journey through the cosmos. Until then we await your presence. See you again, Spaceverse.